Hi, happy Monday. My main goal today is to get these notebooks and all of the rest of my products, my shipping materials, these things over here into the office, which is this room, which we have not taken a tour of because I've been keeping some decor in here and it's just really a mess. Uh, see, <laughs> I do have my computer in here. As you can see, I brought in the shelves and the frame of this unit here. I just have this down for size reference, but I'm going to put a stackable shelving unit here. Before we get to me building that, let's go to the footage from last night where I brought everything in and we'll take it from there. This box is extremely heavy. I can push it with my leg, but I feel like in order to get it all the way over here, which isn't that far, I think it would be a better idea if I just use my scissors, cut open the box, and then bring in just a few pieces at a time. I built some, by the way. There's a few in the garage. Look at all these craft kits. Then, of course, over there, there's two sets of the shelves. I have that box still to put either on that side over there, or I can put in the heated storage room over there. First load is in. You wanna see what they are, Muse? They're for a shelf. No, you don't wanna see. You don't like my boots either. How do I get kittens to not be afraid of boots? Load number two. Load three, we're almost done, girl. Okay. And here's the last of it. Also, I started doing inventory today using the pen that I designed. I purchased six of these shelves over the summer and I set up four of them. This one's gonna go in here, obviously. Here are the instructions. There's really not that much to do. It's honestly really easy to set up. If I can do it on my own, I'm pretty sure most of you can too. If you're interested in getting one of these shelves or maybe a few, I will link it in the description box below and that will include my Amazon affiliate link. If you're not familiar with Amazon affiliate links, you pay the same price. It doesn't increase it for you, but I get a little bit of the percentage so I can put that money toward ordering new products, new storage, new equipment, whatever I need. So I would really appreciate it if you are buying stuff anyway. Help me out, please. Let's get started on the base. So I'm going to need four of these longer poles and then four of these rubber bottoms, I guess you would call them, post cap. That way the floor doesn't get scratched and it just kind of has a little bit more traction, I guess, so it doesn't move. One, two, and four. This is what I'm gonna be doing. The first time I put these shelves together, I'm pretty sure that I made a mistake on the very first step. You see here how the wider part's at the bottom. Definitely do not want that, so don't learn the hard way like I did. It was definitely annoying to mess that up, but it didn't really take that long to fix my mistake and just like switch everything because I didn't get too far. What, are you afraid of them? There's a second one. I'll go ahead and do the other two and then we'll set up the frame. Are they going the correct way? Yes. And then I'm going to collect two short beams and two long beams and I'm going to connect everything together. And I'm going to stick these four prongs into the slots, kind of slide it down. And then the same thing over here. And the reason it's not going in is because I need to set it up. So let me zoom out. I'm gonna use this handy dandy, really lightweight mallet. Go ahead and... Okay, in order to get this nice and snug, just give it a few taps. That's so much better. Yeah, that looks good. Now these other two beams I'm going to put over here, but I'm going to start with this back one and the longer beam. And then 
mallet. Now I'm gonna attach the other short beam to the two frames on the left hand side and then I'm going to attach the long beam to the front. We have these four posts here and I'm gonna take these four plastic connectors. Now that this part of the frame is done, I'm taking a connector and this way I can extend the frame to be taller. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I think it needs to be hammered down a little. Yeah, I'm gonna do that with the other three really quickly. So then these remaining four posts are gonna go on top of the ones here. Now it has its height and I'm going to attach four beams up there the same way that I did at the bottom. And after attaching the ones at the top, I also attach these in the middle. I'm in. <laughs> Now all that's left to do before adding the shelves is just to attach four more beams between the bottom two. I'm choosing to have equal space between all of my shelves, but if I wanted to, I could have another shelf right here, for example, and just have a really small space. But I think for the size of my items, I'm just gonna do everything even for now, and I can change it later if I need to. Seriously, I'm having issues with the very last beam. You see how it's pulling away and it didn't actually latch into there? So this has happened on some of the other ones. And what I did is I just moved the shelf either up one or down one. But honestly, the shelf, it seems like it, it's pretty sturdy. So maybe I'll just leave it. Now to get out of here. <laughs> And my absolute favorite step is to get the actual shelf on. So you can choose between white or a wood color. And because my desk is white with the kind of lighter wood top, I do go ahead and choose the wood for contrast. Can I put this in with one hand? I don't know. Okay, wait, yes, yes I can. Got it. All right. Wait, why is it not? There we go, there we go. Look at that. I love it. Now I can transfer all these notepads onto the shelving unit in there. This is so exciting. Here we go. And yes, <laughs> this, ah, I have the pink bows, the rainbow gradient one day at a time, and I just gotta get two more. Pastel blue bows and the pink one day at a time hearts. We are off to a great start. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get sappy, but this feels surreal. I've envisioned something like this for the longest time. I just, I can't express. It's <laughs> just, am I dreaming right now? Honestly. I haven't counted how many are in each stack of notepads, but there's a hundred of each color. So I don't even know if this is going to be the move on how to set them up. I might want to rotate them so I'll have stacks going this way. I don't know how high will be like safe to stack them. I'll have to experiment a little bit. I probably should put the other shelves in and then bring the boxes of stickers and see where I want to put everything, I guess. Hey, you want to come check out the shelf? <laughs> That's cool. That wasn't here yesterday, was it? No. <laughs> Let's do a fun ride. Ready? Oh my goodness, look how tall you are. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? You want down? Okay, back to ground level. See you later. This is what I brought in so far, and then this little box over here is empty. Well, it's not that little. Um, so, I can probably put excess shipping supplies in here so I don't have to have everything out on the shelves. Do you like boxes? Go in there. Muse in a box. Do you fit? Oh, I wasn't gonna shut you in. Okay, I'm working on cleaning the entire island off. In the previous video, I wanted to mention that I showed my enamel pins on the backing cards. I also showed this acrylic pin 
on the same backing card and then I didn't realize until before I was editing that uh, it actually says enamel pin so I can't use it for an acrylic pin. So what I did is I wanted to see what it would look like if I just cut the top off and then used my rounded hole punch here. Well, <laughs> it looks absolutely awful. So I'll put a screenshot in of the backing card that I designed for this and the one that I just ordered. I didn't want to do the job halfway, I wanted to do it right, so I ordered something else. Another thing is this hole punch. It works really well on thin paper, and obviously you just move it so you can get the corner, but on cardstock like this, it doesn't even punch, so. So that would have been a problem too. And I would have had to like hand cut everything. Look at this. Like it just, it's too thick. Just too thick. Can it ever be too thick? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway. I set up this to-do list in my phone a few days ago and I was able to cross all or check all these off over the weekend and today because we just built the shelf. Honestly, I probably won't get to prints in my shop launch, but for my first update, hopefully, and I'm still thinking about the Easter designs. Let me know if you would be interested. There's some more stuff up at the top, but I don't need to show everything. If you're curious, this is the thank you card that I designed for packages. And this is the sticker backing card. Something else I accomplished that wasn't on that to-do list is I cleared off my desktop on my laptop. So I'm not ashamed to show you this side, even though all this is going to be um, hidden soon. I'm gonna put it in the folders that I have over here and these folders are going to get consolidated. So that looks even more um, organized. You probably saw on the to-do list, I ordered mini bow stickers. So I have six pastel colors coming and then I also ordered pink in a larger bow. These are the proofs from the six bookmarks that I ordered. They are pastel bows with a plaid background. Also, I got a little bit further with inventory. I haven't written down all the prices or anything yet for these, but I just realized I have 29 different stickers that are going to be in my shop. We can actually say 26 because these three here at the top I'm not going to put in since they're holiday themed. This very first time, I just wanted to feel the pen in my hand writing stuff down on paper. Um, I know that this is not the quickest way to do stuff, so you know I am going to do stuff on the computer, like on a spreadsheet next time, but I just wanted to do this for the very first time. So let me have my joy, please. But these are all the bookmarks that are coming. I still have to fill those out. Notepads. Washi tape, I'll have 11 designs sometime in March, so that will not be in time for shop launch. Um, I have to add the pen on here. That's all the shipping materials. And then cards and inserts are going to be like all the backing cards for the enamel pins, as well as the thank you cards and any sort of product backing. And that's it, but I have so many more pages for new additions. I don't really know if I'm going to continue writing stuff down. It just really depends on how many orders I end up getting and how quickly I have to restock things, how quickly I come up with new designs, so we shall see. I'm trying to consolidate boxes. These were actually in this box and then these were just all in a different box. But I also have this package, which has a bunch of resealable bags just kind of thrown in there. These smaller ones are the two and a half by three and a half inch and I'm using these for my enamel pins. Then we have a size that's a little bit larger and I was going to use these for the notepads. I made a really stupid mistake, which it's not a big deal after all, but I measured really, really conservatively. So that means the notepad does not fit in here. So I have more on the way that should fit the notepad. If it doesn't, I will be really annoyed with myself. So I think I'm actually gonna use these for the stickers because initially I had a glassine bag for the stickers that was basically around the same width and it's hard to get them in. This is the glassine pouch I'm talking about and look, it's like the perfect fit for stickers. However, I tried to put multiple in and it is such a struggle. If I happen to get a decent amount of orders, it's going to take a lot longer to try to squeeze stickers in here and they might bend. So I'm gonna have to find a different use for these. Maybe some of the thinner stickers. For example, the match to cart would fit really nicely in here. And so would the live your creative dreams. I have 10 packs of this size here and then 
10 packs of this size, which are not resealable. I'll show you in another vlog what I have in store for these, but I have a tag coming for them. What are you eating? What in the world? No. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in here. I don't even know which way, which way should I put them? Um, could probably put some like that. It seems really chaotic at the moment, but I'm sure it'll work out and I'll do some better organizing if it doesn't. The box definitely doesn't look very aesthetic, but it's free and that means that I don't have to uh, spend money on like storage quite yet. I'm pretty sure that I've had this purple basket since I've been a little kid. This box here is pretty beat up. So I wanna put all the bags of pens in here. That's a single pen. And then this is the one that's open, so we'll put that on the top. So, there we go. I can just go on top of this for now. I mean, it looks really ugly, but I don't really care because <laughs> I don't feel like spending money on more storage at the moment. Then this box can go ahead and be recycled. Now as I'm unpacking the notepads, come on, what? I'm taking a quick scan of the tops of them. You can already tell that there's a few that are not put together the most gracefully, if I can grab that out. So this one and this one right here looks a little scraggly too. So these ones I'm going to leave at the top with this one, which also looks a little bit wonky. Well, that's the worst actually of all of them. It's definitely still sellable, but at a discount or for a gift or like a freebie for someone that I know or who knows. These ones are just a little bit less than stellar. This is a stack of 30. I don't even know how smart this is. I mean, it doesn't look like it's gonna fall over, but if I do three stacks of 30, that's 90, and then I can just disperse the remaining 10. And I think that should be fine to have three stacks of the five colors, so that would be 15. <laughs> I don't know why I questioned that. I mean, it's definitely three times five, but yeah, I will stack these and see how it looks. I mean, it's not the greatest setup, but I mean, what am I gonna do? Okay, so this is not great. We have a stack of 30, a stack of 30. I even double counted them. And then we have a stack of 29, so 30, 60, 90 minus 1 is 89, and I'm supposed to have 100. So, I'm gonna double check like every single box. Maybe, just maybe, you know how they gave me a different size box, like this one's taller. I'm hoping that they put the extras in here, but I mean, if not, they stiffed me by 11 notebooks in the one design, and I haven't counted these yet. So, not happy about that. Um... But let me make sure <laughs> I got distracted by a kitten chase. Hey, good news. With the pink bows, I have three stacks of 30 and then this stack of 10. So that makes 100. But the weird thing is this is a stack of 30 pink bows and this is 30 of the blue one day at a time hearts. So why, why is it shorter? I'm wondering if they put more pages in here. I'm going to have to count. I did do a quick count and I got 49, so there's probably 50 pages. There's supposed to be 50, but does this have more than 50 and that's why they only gave me 89? Like, I don't know what's going on. An update on the pink one day at a time hearts. There are exactly 90, which is not 100, but there's actually 91 and this one is a mega thick boy. Look at the difference between the top one and the ones underneath. That is quite the thick one. The blue bow notepads are out, which I'm technically counting 89 for. However, this one at the top here is really thin, so I can't actually sell that as a 50 page notepad. So 88 and a half. And I'm here to tell you that the colorful gradient one day at a time heart has the worst report of them all. First of all, look how tall the stacks are. This is 30 of the heart. This is 30 of the bow. Such a huge difference. But there's only 85 notepads total here. And I'm thinking that it is something that happened with the paper where they put more pieces of paper per notepad. So, you know, they're winding up taller even though there's less notepads. So these ones, even though I have 100, maybe these are right because I did count the pages and there's 49 in one, which I think there's 50. I probably miscounted. 
but these might have more than 50 pages in each. But I still want a hundred of each notepad even if there's more papers because that is what, you know, I planned on having for inventory. I want to make a disclaimer that everything I'm talking about with these notepads right now, I have been in touch with the manufacturer and they're going to do what they can to get me the missing notepads delivered as soon as possible. So I'm not dissing on them or anything. I just wanted to tell you the reality of what I was sent. This is business in real life. I want you guys to know the good, the bad, the ugly, and the frustrating and the happy, exciting times as well. It is my birthday and we got crumble cookies. Here are the crumble cookies. So we have, I think, chocolate molten lava, and then that's vanilla bean. I don't know the official name. The chocolate chunk chocolate chip and chocolate covered strawberry. This is only the second time I've ever had crumble. That's good. That tastes like pudding. Yeah, they are rich. Mm. This is a 10 out of 10. What do you rate it? I guess I'll have this, or I want the one with less frosting, but I can't eat all this right now. So I'm supposed to be eating dinner food, so I'm just gonna take a little bite of this. That's good too. Oh wait, but this cookie is a doughy cookie. This is the one that tastes like it's like not all the way cooked. Some people talk about that in their crumble reviews. So this one's super doughy. If you like that, you'll love this. I'm not a super fan. I feel like this would taste better if I put it in the oven for a few minutes. Oh my God, I don't think I want that much chocolate right now. I'm just gonna try this one in a little bit. When I saw the name, I thought the cookie would be strawberry and then it'd be covered in chocolate, but I get it. Phoenix is so tired. Chocolate covered strawberry, chocolate cookie with strawberry frosting and then some chocolate drizzle. I think it does taste like strawberry. That's good. I think this is really good. I'm more on the chocolate side of things, so I like the chocolate ones better than the vanilla bean, but also I like when they're a little bit more cooked. So yeah, that, those are my thoughts. Guess what? These balloons are going up in a few minutes because you're already trying to eat the ribbon. No, we just took these down <laughs> to a place where you can get them and that was a terrible idea. How about the balloon? Look how cute. Muse? Aw, look at that. It's a balloon. This likes a ribbon. Oh, <laughs> she wanted to take the ribbon with her. Phoenix, is there a balloon tied around you? What do you think about it? Aw, how cute, buddy. You just like the ribbon? Well, the ribbon's going away in a couple minutes. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Just look at this. Just look at this. These are Valentine's Day gifts for the kittens and I. This cute stuffed hedgehog, and then these little balloons here. And they each ended up getting a little Build-A-Bear. Look at this, it's a little fuzzy bear. He's so cute. And I think that the normal size bears can hold on to it. And then this is a little puppy. I actually haven't given them my gift that I got them like a month ago. They'll get it soon. I have a couple lottery cards to scratch. Here's a little setup I have around the TV. The tree lights up and honestly, I'm in no hurry to take the hearts down. So I'll probably leave these up through March. A really cute holographic card. On this side, we have hedgehogs. And then the top two shelves of the baker's rack look pretty cute. This heart used to be by the TV, but I thought it would look good with all this stuff. And then I have these flowers in the middle. And over here, this mason jar butterfly is actually a DIY that I created a few years ago, quite a few years ago. There's a butterfly attached with wire and then I put some heart stickers in the back and on this piece of duct tape, it says, you captured my heart. The heart garland up there is made from duct tape, something else that I made years ago and I made the love picture frame uh, decor pieces as well. Both the kittens got a card. I know the hearts are a little bit off center but let's ignore that. Also speaking of decor that I've made, I made this core cart, and why are there cat hairs everywhere? Do you love yourself, Phoenix? I got this from Target many years ago, and I didn't want to take it back, but it has this crack on it, so we have to be extra careful. Here's what the tree looks like all lit up. It's so pretty. I kind of want to just leave it up forever. This vlog is getting kind of long, but I wanted to let you know that I got all these packages in the mail, and I have a few more on the way, so in the next vlog, I'll actually show you everything, but in here, 
There's some envelopes. These are my thank you cards. These you actually did see because they're the backing cards for the acrylic pins. Here's a sneak peek of a mini bow sticker. And there are six different colors as well as some giant pink ones. So there's another tiny sneak peek down there. Yeah, two boxes of stickers. And then these are the larger plastic bags that will fit the notepads. And I did check, so spoiler alert, we did not make another mistake. And these will be for shipping the notepads out. Oh, and here are all the boxes and shipping materials that need to be recycled. Aside from this one, by the way, which does have another surprise I'm gonna show you in the next vlog. Phoenix, do you wanna see your gift, buddy? Cute. Ready? <laughs> you gonna open the gift? Look. There she goes. Get it. Is that a Build-A-Bear? Take him. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other videos in the description box below and the iCard up in the corner. And remember to take it one day at a time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!